Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here, and we're going to be doing the Anomaly mission for this weekend, October 27th, 2023. Very strange weekend coming up here, folks. Uh, we're going to be doing a couple recordings. I am going to have a live stream on the 28th. At least I hope to have one uh, sometime late in the afternoon, probably about 4.30, give or take, 4.15, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Watch for your alert. It'll tell you when I'm going to be going live. So we're looking forward to that. Anomaly mission, I have no idea what it's going to be entailing today, but we're going to be taking a look at it here. Um, just a heads up, I do have a sick kid in the house. I got a sick kid who has COVID. First time our family's ever had it. Believe it or not, three years. Three years, and this is the first time we've caught it. So we're going to see how things go. We're going to be testing ourselves on Sunday, and hopefully nothing happens between then and now. If it does, you'll be hearing a different voice coming from me. It'll be sounding more like Barry White, but we'll see what happens here. So I want you to ignore what you see here. I have no idea how in the world this just happened. Um, I've just appeared in a special little place here. Hold on a second. Wonderful. Uh, let's see. What do we get rid of? There. Put you there. Where's my ship? So this is a preview Congratulations, you are seeing a preview of my new base. It's a new uh, uh, Sentinel farming base that I'm going to be using in an upcoming video. Nothing special about this base. I'm not going to show you any special type of, uh, you know, things going on in here. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and take my ship here. Actually, you know what? How about we go with a different ship today? What do you say? We've done enough of these ships. Let's go ahead and do... How about we go with the Ball of Death? What do you think? Uh, let's see. Other ship. Couldn't remember how to get there. Sorry. There you are. The Bard of Fire, it's called. I just got to find a spot I can pull it in. There we go. We're going to take this ship and do our anomaly mission with it. Excellent. Off we go, shall we? Kind of a nice looking planet here, but I'm not going to give any more away about it. We're not going to talk about it. we got to wait for the video. Anomaly, here we come. All right, on our way to the anomaly, folks. And we'll see what we got going on. Hopefully you all are enjoying your No Man's Sky experience as well. Or as I like to say, all you people who have returned back from Starfield, now that you're done going through those missions 14 times. And you know it's pretty much the same game, maybe a little more difficulty, a little more uh, changes in dialogue, but it's pretty much the same thing over and over and over again. So let's see what we got going on here. we got some folks here that we're seeing here. Magnate Commander Chaos. Thank you very much for being here. Dread Pirate, I can't even read your name. we got a whole bunch of people camped out in front. Just sitting and enjoying the view. Excellent. Let's see what kind of uh, mission we got. Malicious Foliage. As you know, this is one of my favorite ones. We got Nip Dip Bub times 5 and Quicksilver 1800, of course. We'll go ahead and take it. Initialize. Start. And yes, before somebody else jumps on the mission. Started. Excellent. All right. Here we go. Yep, Alon Paul the Void Eyes. That's me. All right. Doing a lot of talking today. Been talking at work all day long. Been talking all night. Uh, I've also got a court summons, which means I'm a juror for the month of November here in this lovely state I live in. Yay. County court, so at least that's something. See how that goes. Whoa. Okay, that's a kind of a crazy coming walk in. Ooh, dissonance detected too. I may want to remember this place. Frostbound and dissonance. I like that. So where are we headed? There it is. Alright, so is it this planet or are we going to a different planet? Let's find out. Is it the moon? It is It is a different planet. How interesting. What planet do we got here? 
toxic anomaly. We've got an emerald, so this is a green star system. Those of you who don't have a, an emerald drive on board, to get to a green star system, which is not the emerald drive, it's the drive before that, but regardless of which, you can make a base here, and you can come here anytime you want, or you can land at the space station, just kind of remember what space station it was, and then you'll be able to come to a green star system anytime you want, even without the appropriate drive. Floral hazards detected. Oh, wow, look at that atmosphere. Kind of a yellow. It's almost golden. Makes the ship look kind of crazy, too. All right. So you know what I'm going to do here? I like to look for caves. So we see here that we've got a lot of water. I'd like to try to find more mountainous terrain, if we can. Because the more mountainous we get, the better off we are finding caves that aren't underwater. All right, let's do this. I got an idea. Okay, turn around. Look back at the planet and look for a better terrain area. This looks a little bit better in this area. Let's go there. Someone outside here, so I got someone yelling outside. I don't know what that's about. But... So I apologize if you hear anything in the background. All right, here we go. Yeah, see, that's a little better. I mean, you've still got water, but it's, it's more hilly. So I want to find myself some caves. All right. I think we're in a hilly enough terrain here. Let's go ahead and stop right about here. And take a look. All right. Now, one thing we want to look for when we're looking for, you know, we're going we're gonna to look for bugs and everything. Uh, not bugs. Plants and everything like that. Uh, dangerous plants. But if you can look for humming sacks or not buried minerals, that's not really going to help us any ancient data. That's not going to help us any. So I don't see anything down below us just yet. So let's take a walk around. Do a little walkabout, if you will. Check things out. Oh, so here's some plants right there. So the problem is, I just realized something, and you may have already realized it too while I'm doing this. I can't attack plants yet. I have to find the... Kind of stupid. I just realized this. I need to go to that spot it told me to go to first. So that's my bad. So we'll do this again. Don't make the mistake I just made. We have to hit that first. Okay. Because we have to find the gravestone marker first. So, that was kind of stupid of me. Let me head straight down, and we'll come at it from a different angle. And look for that nice little golden triangle. There it is. Right there. Right in front of me. Triangle? Did I say triangle? Diamond. I meant golden diamond. My bad. Okay. The atmosphere here by the strangling vines, very little ammunition. The fallen traveler's log seems to mention the floral infestation, but holds no further clues. I will need to scout to locate the hazardous flora. All right, so let's just hang out here for a moment, and maybe we'll get lucky. Now, we've got plenty of hazardous uh, flora and fauna around, but I don't want that just yet. I want to look for things buried, if I can find any. Not seeing anything just yet in usual buried minerals, as, as we know. But we'll see how we do. Let's see how many it wants. It wants 14 of these. We already know we got a guy there. Uh, I don't think using a pulse weapon is going to be my... There we go. I always like the way this thing looks when I'm killing uh, Laura and Fauna. The skull opens up. Wow, it won't let me take a picture like that anymore. That's funny. Okay. That may be a problem. We'll see. Now, you know, and, and in tracking new uh, hazardous flora and fauna, um, we want to be... We want to be very, very careful 
about stepping on them, number one, because they can just pop up any time. See? Like it said there was nothing near me, and now suddenly I've got something right here. Oh, it's one of those guys. I hate them. Okay, we got rid of him pretty quick. So that's two. And then it tells us, see, too weak for distance? Yeah. Don't pay attention to that. Just walk someplace else real quick. Let the terrain build back in. And I almost guarantee you, you will have, see, 51 units now suddenly. There's a couple right there. There's one. And there should be one right over here. Here it is. Look at that. So see how easy that is? It's pretty easy. If you can find yourself a cave, that's even better. But I'm not finding any caves right now, unfortunately. Because caves are the best way to go. But this one seems to have a good amount of uh, hazardous flora right on top of the surface here. So we're in good shape there. So let me go ahead and get myself moving here. Go elsewhere. There's one right there. Okay, good deal. And we got another one right there. Yeah, this is a piece of cake. We could, we're going to just stay up on, up on top. Too weak, my butt. Yeah, don't worry. They're out there. Just go somewhere else. Looks like we got a cave here. Guess what? Let's drop in, shall we? Since we have an incoming storm. So how many do we need? We need eight more. Let's see what we can find in here. Now, this is very close to the surface. So uh, as far as water is concerned. So we just want to find some uh, bad guys. And all you need to do sometimes is just look around. And if there's any hazardous floor in here, they'll start spewing gases, and you can just grab them. Watch me have a cave here that has nothing in it, right? Looks like we got a couple right there. And you get some sodium and oxygen out of them. Two and three. Look at that. He's cake. All right, and there's a whole bunch more right in front of me. Looks like we got at least three more. Good. So that's six. We just need two more now, and we're done. And we can avoid the storms because now we're in a cave. Let's see what we got. Anything over here? No? Yeah, it's okay. We got enough. I mean, we only need two more. You can wait till you start choking on gases if you don't see them right away. <laughs> don't think we have any. Oop, we do. See? Just like that. Let's get that one. There we go. We got them all. And if you don't feel like looking for the entrance, you can just dig your way out. But we got it. All right, where's my ship? Yes, I said it. Get off my back. And it's a hot storm, so your jetpack is in even better shape to get you someplace. All right, and there we go. All right, we're going to head back out into space. Just got to return to the Nexus is all we got to do. Excellent. So that wasn't too, too shabby. Boom. We've returned to the space anomaly. And we're returning to the Nexus. Whoop, we got somebody just kind of... Remy357. Excellent. Good to see you there, Remy. And out we go. Some nice solar ships. Oh, we got a Squiddy. Nice. Haven't seen one of those in a while. And we turn in our mission. Complete. We're done. 1,800 more Quicksilver and the five Nip Nip Buds. Don't forget that those are contraband, so you can get pulled over by the Sentinel Police. So be careful of that. Okay. Now, so what do we got? We got uh, how much Quicksilver I got? I've only got 39,000 Quicksilver left. Did we unlock our last one? Let's find out. Jetpack trails? Oh, we got three new ones. Universal Heartbeat decal. We got the Blue Flight decal and an Outlaw System decal. Very interesting. So that means that we should have the Fusion Jetpack Trail. All right, excellent. So as you know, I've got the Fusion one, or the other one, the right one right before it. Let's see what this one looks like. 
You see somebody else is already there doing it too, so we'll try to be really, really quick. And where'd it go? Fusion Trail. All right, let's see what that looks like. Can't see it much because of the stinking cape. Let's go ahead and get rid of the cape for a moment. No cape. But now we'll just go with the default. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, I kind of like that. Got the lightning bolts. Yeah, that's really, really cool. All right, let's change the backpack out real fast because I don't want to keep that. And we're going to get rid of the uh, uh, cape for now. So, exotic or streamlined. I've always liked the streamlined better. So, let's stick with the streamlined. There we go. There we go. I like that. That's pretty cool. All right, good deal. So, that's what that looks like. And you'll see we've got more stuff. More stuff that we can get. That is usually when... Uh, when it's kind of giving us a clue that something's coming. Possibly an update. Possibly uh, maybe another expedition. We don't know. So let's keep an eye out for these things. I'm going to go ahead and save my game here, folks. And I'm going to thank you all for watching. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments section. Again, any comments I've always welcomed. And we'll see you all next week in the next video. But watch for that live stream tomorrow night, Saturday, 4.30 Eastern Time. Between 4.15 and 4.30. I haven't decided when I'll start. But we'll start, be on there for a few hours. And I think we're going to do the the one that Beeblebum does, the um, Fugitive. We're going to do the Fugitive run and see if we can do that again. I've never completed one. I've always died too soon. But I've got new tricks up my sleeve. So hopefully we can get that done. All right, folks. Again, thank you for watching. And we'll see you all in the next episode. Take care, everybody.